thanks to you two, I'll be able to walk my daughters down the aisle one day. You saved my life. All in a day's work. I'm just glad we could help you. And I'm also so very glad in my spare time I could come up with the cure for you. Isn't she amazing? She's the best, all right. And it took spending time with the two of you for me to realize just how perfect you two are together. I hope we can be friends. We can, and we will. For the children. For the children. Well, thank you, Lucy, for everything. You gave me back my life. Down, but there's still no movement on his left side. So I guess he's coming home with us. I can't believe that jerk Ricky took off my bike right under my nose. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamal. Well, at least you don't have to worry about taking a ride with me that I was offering you. It's the motorcycles I don't like, not you. Well, that's encouraging. And besides, it was kind of sweet seeing how attached you are to your bike. Well, she's a good girl. Old school, 1,300 cc's of pure love. And pickup. She had some pickup. I could always count on her to get me out of a jam. Well, I am sure that she misses you, too. And somehow, she'll find her way back to you. Well, for a girl who hates bikes as much as you do, I sure do know how to say all the right words. Well, I had a tricycle once I was pretty fond of. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no use in me moping around about it, right? There was gonna be this spot I was gonna take you to across town to grab a bite to eat. But as you can see, then jerk Ricky stole my bike. <sighs> if my mother wanted to see me, everything's okay. I'll see you later. Love of Allison. Well, okay, I'll be right there. What the hell do you... There is something I need to tell you, and it's about you and Allison. You have to leave town. Oh, what a surprise. I was expecting your lesser half. Why is that? Oh, I don't think Rafe will stop hounding me until he figures out how to get this. Wait, actually, I, I really wanted to talk to you alone. And here I thought he'd try his same old tricks. Instead, he sends you. No, he doesn't know that I'm here. Well, this is getting more interesting by the minute. Why don't you come in? No, I was really hoping to keep this between you and me, so if Livy is here... She's not here. Okay, then. I'll just cut to the chase. Yeah, I figured it wasn't a social call. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're here to inquire about a particular piece of jewelry. No, I know that you would never actually give me your ring, so I'm here for something else. I will do anything, and I mean anything, if you just leave town. Doc, how could you leave me after I nursed you back to health like that? 
Does this answer your question? <laughs> because I could. Oh, my kiss has always made you weak in the knees. Oh. oh, I was so worried about you. Look at you. How did you get so much better? I simply bit on the bullet, sucked in the pain, and stood up. You are the strongest man I've ever known. And that's why I have to leave. Now that I can walk, I have to walk away. No. I'm only coming between you and him. Oh, I'm tired of him coming between us. I can't let you leave this house. I'm sorry, darling. Our wild roller coaster ride has finally come to an end. No. No, Doc, you can't go. You can't. That's right, you can't leave. I made a mistake. I came between two people that have always belonged together. Do you really mean that? Better man one. Good luck to you. Straight. You want Allison and I to, to just leave town. Keep dreaming. Okay. It's as much your benefit as it is mine. The four of us here together are poison. Well, in case you hadn't noticed, Allison and I just opened a business together, so we're not going anywhere. Young Caleb, on the other hand, I'll throw you guys the biggest going away party poor Charles has ever seen. Okay, God knows that nothing is keeping me in this hick town, but Caleb seems strangely attached to it. Well, when your last address was hell, anything's an improvement. Could you not be sarcastic for, like, two seconds, please? Could you stop acting like the world revolves around you? Oh, you know what? I think I'm talking to the wrong person. Allison! She's where, with where her is mother. She? Would you shut up? She's with her mother. Well, I think she could convince you to pack up and move on. Keep her out of this, all right? Oh, yeah, God forbid. Your delicate flower. <sighs> she can take care of herself. I just don't want her anywhere near you or Caleb, okay? That's a... Uh... A very dangerous question, Allison. Are you sure you're prepared to do anything? At this point, yes. Someone's got to stop this battle between you and Ray before everyone gets hurt. Well, that's the nature of war. People get hurt. Are you afraid? Are you afraid of me, Allison? No, I'm not. Then why do you keep glancing at the door? <laughs> Maybe you'd feel better if you had an escape route here. Come on, let, let's just be reasonable, okay? There's no point to this endless fighting. I mean, there's got to be a way to stop all of this where everybody wins. Hmm. Well, you could ask your boyfriend to back off. Caleb, you could live anywhere in the entire world. No, well, poor Charles does have a, a certain charm, doesn't it? Why don't you just go back to Transylvania or wherever it is that you came from? I like it here, Allison. This little corner of the world... I can be anything I want. I don't have to hide who I am or what I am from anybody. I think that you feel like Port Charles is actually your home. reason if the two of you relocated you wouldn't have to worry about allison crossing paths with caleb ever again okay so what do you think i'm gonna do i'm just gonna let you and caleb stay here in town with the ring sorry fine then we're all gonna be in this mess together what is this about what what, what got you so worked up huh 
Rave, I love Caleb. You know that. Yeah. But lately, it just... Oh, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I asked. The last thing I want to hear about is you and your messed up love life. Oh, oh please. Like, you and Allison are any different than me and Caleb. You're not, Rafe. And if you want to live your life without any interference, it's not going to be possible if we keep bumping into each other every two seconds. But if you're really serious about this, you're sort of ignoring the obvious. What's that supposed to mean? See, there is one person that Caleb will listen to, someone near and dear to what passes for his heart. That would be you. Not lately. He's kind of been tuning me out. I know you. You can be pretty persuasive when you give yourself a chance, right? True. So think about it. You know, you, you get the ring, and, and you happen to make a wish that you and Caleb leave town and never come back. You leave all the bad memories behind. Yeah, fresh start. Of course, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I... I just gotta do it myself if I want the job done right. Thanks. Jamal? Mm, yo. I wanted to cheer you up. Take your mind off the loss of your bike, so... Really? I got you something. <sighs> okay, look, I know it's not the real thing, but just check it out, because you can... You can pop wheelies, do whatever it is you boys do on bikes. Where did you get this thing? Uh, the bus boys. They race them in the alley between shifts. And look, I know it's kind of goofy, but no, I just... No, 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 no. You are so great. This, this is amazing. Okay, let's try this little thing out then. Let's see what you got. What you got, yellow man, yellow man? Yellow like me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Set. <laughs> ah! It kind of got a little traction, uh -huh. I suppose. Okay, look, look. I know you don't like bikes, but I'm going to start you off small. Uh, you think you can handle him? Okay, I guess so. Yeah? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the left, go to the left, go to the left. You're going to hit, you're going to hit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got you. I got you, little mama. <laughs> like I said, you know, I mean, I know it's not the real thing, but... You've got some beautiful brown eyes. Um, I think <laughs> you should get that. <laughs> Yo, this had better be good. Believe me, it is. Charles is my home. I never quite thought of it that way. Well, it's where you met Livy, right? And it's where you played your first live concert. You defeated Joshua here. And you did all of these things without the ring. Back to that, are we? Come on, Caleb, think about it, honestly. I mean, you settled down here, and you tried to build yourself a nice home, and it was good for a while, all up until... Everyone started fighting over the ring. There never would have been any trouble else if they hadn't taken it from me. I owe it to my father to protect the ring. Do you understand that? I do, but was it really worth it? I mean, are you and Livy any happier because of it? I think that Jamal had the right idea when he threw it in the river. In a perfect world, what would you have me do? Why don't you just give it to me? I promise you, I will make sure that that ring does not cause anyone any more harm. What do you say? Will you just give it to me? Ian Thornhart. Arrogant doctor or amusing pal? Get the full story on Port Charles next on SoapNet. We have a really close-knit bunch over at Port Charles. I've been doing it for 15 years. We all learn lessons every day from everybody. There's a nice feeling on the set. Every day is different. It's a give-and-take relationship. There's some great people, some great actors. Uh, we go up there and we just play and we have a good time. Being in soaps is so fun. It is fun. I just love my job. I love it. Anything I can do for you? You could find the use of my left side. That would help. no picnic being helpless. I know. Would you like some water? Yeah, thanks. Here, why don't you try uh, to use your other hand and give it a go. <clears throat> there you go. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, damn it. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's, I can't it's even drink a glass of water. It's, it's just going to take a little time, that's Look, all. You know, I really don't ever want to get used to this. Sorry, I know that. 
I was just getting everything back together, you know? You are going to pull through this. And I will be here to help you. It's no fun to be so dependent. I know that. I guess you just got to figure everybody sometime needs help from somebody. I just hate the idea of you and Christina seeing me like this. Don't do that. Come on. Christina is going to be fine. Don't worry about her. Her kids are just, they're very resilient. All she wants is her daddy around, and she wants her daddy to sit and watch her color or hug her and kiss her. She, she'll be fine. Come on. Where's that fighting spirit? Hey, how are you feeling? Well, I'm not feeling anything. That's the problem. An MRI should have come back. Is there any change? Nothing definite. It's that bad, huh? Well, the good thing is we can get you out of the hospital, though, and take you home with us. You, know, you still have time to change your mind. I don't know. You might decide to renovate the house or uh, take a trip around the world. You know, I hear Australia is really nice this time of year. No. You are coming home with us. Yeah. All the arrangements have been made and all the equipment's at the house already. So. Oh, that's great. We'll just be one big happy family, won't we? Listen, Jamal, you will get your bike back. No one should ever break up such a perfect couple. Well, I must say that you really took my mind off my troubles tonight. I just wish there was a way I could thank you. Jamal. Rafe! Hey. Hey. Sorry. I'll be right over here. <laughs> <sighs> well, um, look, if you want to hang out for a second while I talk to the man over there, I'll walk you home. No, I think I'll be okay. Sure. Yeah. It was nice. Right. Get home safe, right? That? Has anyone ever told you you have the worst timing in the whole wide world, Rafe? This better be good. I figured out a way to get the rain from Caleb. Okay, that's good. Lay it on me, what? Have a look again. Oh. Oh, because she's been dying to do you that favor, right? Well, I just may have suggested to her that she get it for herself, and I think she took the bait. Well, I thought Caleb wouldn't give it to her. I mean, he doesn't trust her any more than we can trust that crazy girl. Livy wants what she can't have, and most times she gets it. So my bet is that she's going to work Caleb over until he gives it. OK, so you, you think we have a better chance of getting the rain from Livy as opposed to Caleb. Why? Come on, Caleb has been guarding that room with his life for centuries. Livy will obviously be easier to distract. OK, fine. So, so you're saying that Livy gets the ring from Caleb, and I get it from Livy. Simple as that. Problem solved. World saved. You were always nice to me, Allison. You gave me a chance when no one else would. If this is what you want, I'll give you my ring. Thank you. I trust you. I trust you like no one else. I promise you, I promise you, I will not let you down. Just try and do the right thing with it. This ring will never do harm to another person. And, and maybe this feud between you and Rafe will actually end in peace. Oh, dang, I left my keys. Oh, get out of my way. Hey, lose the attitude. What the hell is your problem, anyway? You're the one with the problem. <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. I will make sure this ring never hurts another person again. George has flown back to Europe. Get him back here. I'm in trouble. What? 
I'm bleeding. Baby, you just made a big mistake. The original SoapNet show that was nominated for four Emmy Awards in its first season, including Best Hosts. Lisa and Ty give you inside access to the world of soaps every weekday at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Soap Talk, only on SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps.